today we're here at Silent Classic to discover the most unusual converted to electric car, if we can call it a car, I've ever seen. Uh, it's a three-wheeler, it's raining, so let's take it for a spin and see what it looks like. All right, Jack, <laughs> I'm not even sure what you're driving, <laughs> where, where I'm sitting, what's this? So this is a bond bug. A um, bomb bug? Yeah, so you, do you know the, uh, the Robert Malign? You must have had the Robert Malign. Yes. So this was, this came before the Robert Malign. Okay. Uh, and I think it's way cooler. And it's definitely more stable around the corners. Check this out. Ready? <laughs> we did a corner, we did a roll it. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a, a remarkably fun thing to drive. So could, could you tell us more about the car originally? What was the drive train and uh, where you took this? So it came to us from actually London Electric Cars, uh, originally converted it and did a fab fabulous job on it. They did a really, really nice work. Um, but the customer wanted, because um, they did it some time ago, he wanted a bit better efficiency. So the, the motor had a HPED motor, AC34, no, AC23, a small one. Yep. It's getting really, really hot and it's super under efficient. Um, and yeah, so basically, the, 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 the guy who owns this car is all about efficiency and he wants to get maximum range. Um, so, yeah, so we basically respun the design, we fitted it in gyro, permanent magnet motor, which is much more efficient, water cooled, and we also upgraded the battery pack to a high capacity, uh, we changed the inverter. Uh, so, give, give us more details. So, battery pack, you're repurposing. Uh, Tesla Model S uh, modules. Yeah, it's got Tesla Model S modules, but the higher capacity, 6.3 kilowatt hour okay, yeah. modules. Um, so, and they're in the floor. Uh, and that oh, was nice. actually uh, London Electric Cars design. It's obviously a no-brainer to put them there, but it means that's why it corners so well. So, oh, the, all the way at the bottom. Yeah. yeah. So I've done some quite fast cornering this thing, and it, I, I haven't even had it on two wheels yet. So <laughs> it's actually remarkable. Do you know how heavy or actually how light this is? Oh, off the top of my head, no. We have weighed it. It feels like you could lift it. It's incredibly <laughs> light. It's got, you know, it's got a 18, no, yeah, 18 kilowatt hour pack. Very small battery pack, but impressive range. I think we're getting near 100 mile range. Okay. And uh, what type of power are you getting out of it? Uh, it's got a 44 kilowatt motor. Nice, yeah. Uh, so it's plenty, plenty, plenty of power. Uh, it's got regen, off-pedal off regen, it's got our, uh, our display here. So basically the technology in this is is very much our Fiat kit. So okay. we've, we've taken the technology we've learned from our Fiat and tried how, how are we going to make this work in this car. Very similar weight, exactly the same gear uh, gear ratio. So we, we knew it would work well, it was just a matter of packaging it. And it wasn't that easy. As I mean, there's a not, there's no space basically. Okay, so yeah. everything is crammed in, in this area and in the, and in the boot. So what's the plan with this particular car? Is it a one-off? Is it the beginning of something more significant? Yeah. So we're doing this um, with a very nice chap named Roy, uh, who is a very clever chap who's already taken this model and he's basically designed a carbon fiber version. And he's done a beautiful job of this, and it's slightly changed the shape very slightly. But his his dream and ambition is to create an ultra ultra efficient um, micro car, basically. Okay. It's quite right. All these modern EVs are so big; they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. This is his kind of prototype. We're helping him with the design. So the plan is to to do a low volume production exactly. series. Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure what his ambitions are in terms of volume. He's done some really nice work with with the carbon fibre and you know that's not yeah so that's quite involved to do that so I'm sure he's, he's serious about taking some quite a few orders. Okay so this setup that has a motor mounted around here and then under here is a prop shaft which goes straight into the differential because of the weight and the gearing it doesn't need any any gear reduction it goes straight into the diff pulls away fine I've done I've got this up to 70 miles an hour which is quite terrifying. Um, but it's it's actually I feel quite safe in this car. It's so narrow. You can see exactly where the front is. And it's the steering is so direct. You can point it exactly where you want it, and it'll just go there. You know, it's not like it's quick, but it's not like too fast. And well, you would not want it to be much quicker. No. no, no. <laughs> so right now there's water dripping 
on my knee. Yes. Um, I don't think there's an eating system. <laughs> there is actually. We actually fitted the heater to it. Oh, all right. But um, could, this thing's like a colander. There's holes everywhere. Yes. So the heater really only is effective when you're stationary. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite there's fun. There's refinement yeah. to be done with this. Uh, but in the summer, you can take, you can wet these side screens out. Oh yes. And also, you can just take this whole top off. Okay. Wow. So it's a really great summer summer bomb. So how long did it take to well, convert it using the, your system and repurposing your own system? I think we've had this car now for six months. Okay. We haven't been working on it every day. So, um, lovely loud indicators. One thing I would say, the lock isn't very good. <laughs> oh, you would say it would be being a city car. In there, yeah. something that needs to be worked on it. Funny enough, it, the lock, when you turn left, is really good, but when you turn right, it's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> What the? Yes. <laughs> Do you know what year this was? Oh, uh, 1970-something. Okay. Um, what I do know is the company, I think they made, rough estimate, around 4,000. 4, it didn't really kick off the bottom okay. Yeah. Um, and they, they only sold them in really vibrant colours, like bright orange and a luminous green. It was a really, real funky um, uh, you know, st real uh, rock and roll statement kind of thing. Is there a following in the UK for this car, this, the Bond car? Is there a club yeah, or? I yeah. think there are clubs, yeah. yeah. I'm not sure what they think about the electric side of things. Yeah. The engines of these were never any good, so it's... Uh, so what was the engine? Was it the two parts? Uh, two it's, it's actually a uh, water-cooled four-cylinder oh. engine. Okay. But very gutless. I've never driven one with the engine, but yeah. from what I've heard, they, were, they, weren't, they weren't that great. Um, which could explain why it did not really work. Yeah. 